a hybrid off the tee, find the fairway down the right-hand side, open up the angle for your second shot, and it's obvious you just don't want to miss your second shot right. So bail out to the left-hand side, make a par. Pretty simple. Well, I like the look of the line here. It should find the fairway. Second shot here on the 13th. Well, that certainly wasn't the shot she had in her mind. Unable to find the green on this one. Oh, a little shorty Baker on that action there. Oh, that's the hands of a surgeon. Lovely touch. Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. Let's go to John Rahm. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Let's take a look at the current standings. Our leader is currently enjoying a four-stroke advantage. And another of the uphill par threes, the 14th, Rich. This is such a difficult hole because it, this tee shot lines you up over on the left-hand side where you'll find those bunkers. But if you bail out to the right, well, now you're running into a low area that you have a pretty difficult chip shot to a green that historically is the firmest and fastest on this golf course. And that was a bit of a misfire. This would be a great up and down. Beauty of a chip shot there. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. We'll now move over to John Rahm. He's just coming off a drop shot on that last hole. It's time to check on the leaderboard. Our leader is out in front by a whopping five strokes. As we get into the closing stretch here at Bay Hill, the 15th, the par four. Strong par four, his dog legs from left to right. Don't miss it out to the right in that bunker. Not only are you hitting your second shot out of the trap, but also you've got some magnolia trees to deal with. This is a very difficult fairway to find because that fairway does chase away from you just over that bunker. This is a very strong par four. Going with the six iron here. Just needs this one to kick right. Okay, that'll work. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Careful not to leave this one short. It's back uphill and nothing worse than leaving an uphill putt short. Oh yeah, this is tracking nicely. A oh, well hold. Now an impressive nine under par with just a few holes remaining. A nice feeling it must be to have that sizable of a lead coming down the stretch. Well, with that good play, this person is now in first on the leaderboard with Colin Morikawa in second. Three holes remaining, folks. Hang on to your hats. This is going to be a wild and woolly finish. Oh, what a wonderful play. Leading with intent. Simply amazing power on that tee shot. Rich, good chance to get at this green in two. Yes, this player's found the fairway, and now they've got the opportunity to knock this on in two. Be wary of coming up short and left, obviously, in the water, but don't be anxious to miss it out to the right, especially in that bunker that's over in the middle of the green on the right-hand side. That really can wreak havoc with the players. Try and find the green at all costs with this second shot. Oh, this is exciting. A putt for an eagle.
Ouch, that hurts. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. This is their look at birdie. That's inside the range. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. Let's go to John Rahm. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Here's John Rahm. And now we can take a look at how that play affects the leaderboard. Our current leader is enjoying a seven-stroke advantage. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on?